Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to fit any clothing item on pretty much any figure that is out there. Um, the main motivation for this is that, let's say you take uh, particular clothing items such as dresses or even shirts. For this one, I'm going to use Emo Girl for Ico 3. And I'm going to fit this with G3F here. I'm going to choose Echo 3, dress, knee length, intercept. And the problem with this method should be fairly evident in about two seconds. You can see that there is considerable distortion known as V-tear down here, as well as distortion near the chest. Um, that's one of the limitations of the autofit system because of their projection templates and projection maps. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you another method of how to do this, and that is to use the um, update vertex function in the geometry menu. So first off, I'm just going to delete this and load up a copy. So you can see here that our dress right now does not match our figure at all. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scale and adjust our clothing item such that it does match. And we're going to update our clothing item with our new geometry. So for the sake of time, I did this scaling in about five minutes earlier. Um, it still needs some work, but it should, should, should uh, demonstrate the effectiveness of this technique. So first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to select our item and you can see that I've adjusted the Y scale or sorry the Y translation, Z translation as well as our scaling factors down here. If I were to select the abdomen you can see that I've adjusted various scales. Fortunately for this clothing item I did not have to adjust the chest but for things like the left shoulder and right shoulder right shoulder, I've had to adjust the Z scales as well as some bending. You can see that for the forearms as well. Now the key thing to note about this adjustment is that I've tried to match the collar or the top of the clothing item as well as the chest area and the glutes as well. So you can see if I just Put this on the side. If I turn off the dress, you can notice that it fits pretty well. Now, of course, there's some areas where there's some poke through, but hopefully the smoothing modifiers will take care of that as we move along with this method. So now that we have this particular clothing item relatively fitted in quote marks, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide everything and I'm going to export this as an OBJ. So right here, I've pretty much used the poser preset, but I like to use no maps. Um, collapse UV tiles, that's a bit of a habit from using UDIM for G3F. So I hit no maps, hit OK, and I should export. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the unaltered version of it. I'm going to edit, figure, geometry, and update base geometry, or update vertexes. And I'm going to hit OK, select our OBJ, and make sure you use the same preset as before, hit OK. And you should notice that now it has all the vertexes that we have adjusted to before. So this is pretty much a clone of our item that we had before. Only difference is you notice how everything is at their 100% at zero um, states. So, in other words, the base object or base clothing item has now been updated with the new vertex positions. So, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to fit the dress to G3F. I'm going to hit OK. And for this time, I'm going to hit unsupported and with the dress projection map. And I'm going to hit OK, wait about five seconds. 
takes a bit of time. And you'll notice how nothing has changed, which is what we want. Because otherwise, we'll see distortions all over this particular dress. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a smoothing modifier to this. And you'll notice how there's a bit of collision problems there. That's OK. I'm going to just increase this to 7 or 9. Give it a bit. And you notice how it smooths it all out. I'll re-enable this back in reverse order. And it actually fits quite well. So I will go back to texture view. And it's pretty good for about five minutes of work. Now, there are more things you can do with this if you want to not use the smoothing modifier at all. And here's a neat trick for those of you that don't want to wait for the update for the smoothing to go every single time. I'm just going to hide G3F, and I'm going to export this as, oh, wait, hold on. Let's wait until it updates. There we go. So this is the smooth version of it. Export. Save, OK. Let that export. And what we can do now is we can go edit, object, geometry, update base geometry with a smooth version of it. You can see that it maintained the smoothness with better performance now.